welcome guys su swagatam to our channel with english for all happy diwali diwali ki hardik shubhkamnaye aapko subh dipavali and happy children's day diwali is a festival of light so born like a sun to bring light in your future okay guys so guys in previous class we learned some rules of pronoun the order of pronoun in a sentence so in this class i am going to give you some firework sorry firework or fireworks no no fireworks is always used as plural not in singular so friends in this class we are going to learn about some new words means some new fireworks in this class okay so celebrate the diwali with happiness joy and learn new words with me let's get started we will discuss about some new words some new words of a book the book is this the history of english literature okay take a screenshot of this book if you like this then buy it and read it by ragakul tilak okay see this so i am going to discuss some new words that i learned from this book okay so history of english literature by dr ragakul tilak with social background chaucer to present day in this book english literature from chaucer age to present day between in this age what happened in, with english literature this book shows that okay so please read it okay so part 1 is the age of chaucer okay or the chaucer age so the age of chaucer literary background from this page we learn some new words okay and i am going to write on this point board so coherence means purity okay this is meaning coherence mean purity in hindi swachhata okay swachhata in hindi then the second word is provence the part of a country okay in third one is duke duke means you see in a shirt you see in a bike duke bike okay so actual meaning of duke is a noble man okay remember it a noble man invade okay invade next word is invade invade means to enter in large number without any permission to enter 
a large number of army force entered to a country without any permission so here we call invade okay invade with one is conquest okay conquest see this word conquest means area that has been taken in a war okay here you see and here are the five words take a screenshot of this please sixth word is imitation okay imitation means a copy of something real a copy of something real that is imitation okay then render other word is render to give help okay to give help render means to give help this is verb you have to strong your vocabulary to gain maximum marks in english not this is not only for 7th student 8th student or 10th student or as you think that i am 12th student and this words is important to me or not to others then you are a fool this words are important to you this words is important to a officer this word is important to a old man he can use this in his daily conversation okay so this is for all remember it see this just just means a feeling of a feeling of enjoyment then the other word is gloom being said without hope see this being said without hope okay means gloom not 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 only being said being said without hope without any expectation without any hope you are in a sad zone okay then here you say gloom last word is henceforth here i write henceforth okay henceforth means from now on okay from now on onwards okay hence fourth means okay new words daily one word one day then in a year 365 days 365 words okay not 365 300 words you learn it is enough to you
okay so like share and comment this video and attend my every classes thank you